Ciao guys, I'm Giulia, I'm Italian and I'm traveling Italy to give you the best local tips. In this video I'm gonna show you one of Italy's wildest areas, the Orosei Gulf in the amazing island of Sardinia. This part of Sardinia is very well known for its marvelous seaside. We will show you some of the best beaches, the best things to do in the area and all the yummy local food you can try here. Pack your sun cream and let's go! Sardinia is the second largest island in Italy. The Orosei Gulf is located on the east coast and you can get here by ferry or plane. Both port and the airport are located in Olbia, approximately 1 hour and 15 minutes by car. We chose the pretty town of Orosei as our headquarters because it's located in the middle of a gulf so we could easily reach all the main attractions of the area. Bitte Rosa is a naturalistic park of more than 1,000 hectares, composed of five wonderful little bays and framed by the local forest of pine trees, cork oaks, junipers and holm oaks. The oasis is also particularly interesting for those who love bird watching because you could spot pink flamingos, grey herons and little egrets. This naturalistic gem accepts a limited number of cars and motorbikes inside, 170 in total. Unfortunately, you cannot book online. In the description we explain how to book your spot. The cost is 12 euros per car plus 1 euro per person. Campers are not accepted instead. You can park them outside and then use the shuttle bus to reach the base. For those who come by feet or by bike, there are no restrictions in terms of numbers. Many are also the trekking routes inside this natural oasis. The Bue Marino Cave is a spectacular sea cave where the Mediterranean monk seal found shelter in the past, when fishermen, boats and tourists weren't as many as today. The cave was carved for thousands of years by an underground river that nowadays still flows and meets the sea in this point. Claustrophobics, worry not, the cave is incredibly big to be a cave. The one kilometer itinerary will allow you to explore the first four rooms of the cave. The guided visit will last about one hour. You can also access by feet from the north entrance through an official trekking route. It's quite cold as we're underground, so come better equipped than me. Tickets to the Bue Marino cave can only be purchased at the ticket office in Cala Gonone port, the same day you want to go. Suggestion. Buy them early in the morning because they sell out quickly. Once in Sardinia you cannot miss a boat tour, especially in this part of the island, as many little bays of the Orosei Gulf are only accessible by water. The tour made us reach the southern tip of the Orosei Gulf and we stopped for one hour and a half in three little bays along the route. Cala Sicine, Spiaggia dei Gabbiani, and Cala Luna. Other famous bays are Cala Golorizze, also accessible by feet and very popular among climbers. And Le Piscine di Venere, Venus Pool, with its characteristic turquoise color. The tour was an easy and comfortable way to sail, but if you prefer a do it yourself approach, you can also rent a small inflatable boat, even if you don't have a nautical license. You can combine this boat tour with the Bue Marino Cave visit. Tickets are separate, but the same boat will take you there.
We all know that the seaside in Sardinia is wonderful, but few people know that mountains here are just the same. Due to its unique isolated position, Sardinia developed its own natural ecosystem. To get to know it better, we participated in a guided tour on Mount Tiscali, an experience we highly recommend. We mounted on a jeep in Orosei, traveled for 45 minutes through countryside and unpaved streets, with a great view over the mountains we were about to climb, and parked the car at the slope of a mountain. We hiked for 1 hour and 30 minutes in the Mediterranean scrubland, with majestic juniper trees and more imposing oaks. Throughout the path, you can enjoy panoramic views over Lainato Valley. The highlight of a tour is that on top of Tiscali mountain, you find an archaeological site only accessible by trekking. The Tiscali Nuragic village was a prehistoric village built inside a cave, completely invisible to external enemies. The ticket costs 5 euros and think that the path to get here is so arduous that custodians who work in the ticket office sleep up there to work two days in a row in a long shift. For this tour, trekking shoes are compulsory and you gotta be a bit of a sporty person as climbing can be challenging. On the way back, we stopped in Su Gologone, the most important springs in Sardinia with an average water flow rate of more than 500 liters per second. It's a dreamy destination for the most important cave divers. The crystalline water changes from emerald green to turquoise to intense blue in a spectacular naturalistic show. It's also a fantastic area for a picnic to recover your energies after hiking in the mountains with the most famous local beer, Iknusa. Nuraghe are one of the symbols of Sardinia. They are ancient megalithic edifices built during the Nuragic Age almost 3,000 years ago. The Sardinian Nuragic civilization was one of the most important prehistoric tribes in Europe, although much has to be found out yet about them. The most important archaeological sites to visit close to the Orosei Gulf are Nodule and Sunuraxi. Ghost towns are a thing in Sardinia. Yes, unfortunately the island has been suffering a heavy depopulation for more than 30 years now and some towns have been left behind completely deserted. In just 45 minutes by car from Orosei, you can visit Lollove, an almost empty village. Indeed, only 12 people still live here. Lollove is a middle-aged rural Sardinian borgo. The houses were built exclusively with the Sardinian method, with only stones and soil. The village hasn't had one single business until 2008, when a restaurant was opened. Lolove was and is so remote that it had the first city drainage system in the 1980s. Be joyful of visitors, of a happy memory of the small borgo, made of perfumes and enchants and take always with you in your heart the silent atmosphere of its chant. Gorropu is an imposing and mesmerizing place. It's a ravine flanked by limestone walls up to 400 meters high where you can climb and scattered with boulders and heaps of rocks along which you can walk, at times following the course of a river at times entering Holmoak Forest. And what else is there to add to convey how removed from space and time you feel here? Does the fact that it is called the Grand Canyon of Europe give you an idea? Oh my god! How can I even start to describe Sardinian food? Like in all the islands, fish is present in many recipes. We tasted a fantastic seafood fregola, the latter being a semolina dough rolled into tiny bowls. But the central part of Sardinia is mountainous, that's why you'll find a variety of great recipes. The most excellent product of this land is the pecorino cheese that you can taste in Culurgiones, a handmade pasta filled with pecorino, potatoes and mint, 
and seadas, a deep frying semolina dumpling dessert covered in honey. Your meals will always be matched with the flat, crunchy and very light carazao bread. One of the most famous dishes known around the world is porcetto, a baby pig of no more than 7 kilos cooked in a skewer. It can be spiced with saffron, pepper, myrtle or mint. Its distinctive trait is a juicy crunchy pork rind. I could go on and on with a long list of recipes, but let me stop here. These are the must try once you're in the island. Don't forget to drink Canno now, a red wine only produced in Sardinia, very strong, therefore a perfect match for meat. And after all you will eat, finish your meal with the traditional digestive liquor Mirto, made from the Mirto plant, very common in this land. Our trip in Sardinia has ended and I'm already looking forward to come back one day. If you would like more details about our day-to-day -day itinerary or suggestions about where to go to eat local food, let us know in the comments. Give a like to this video and subscribe to our channel to always get tips on how to enjoy Italy like an Italian.